Just give me the line, yeah. Tryna pass, yo yo. Just give me the lights and pass the job. What's another buckle of more? Yeah, let me know my size and I got to know which one is gonna catch my flow. Cause I'm in the vibes and I got my dog. Great job. Oh my yeah. God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great job. Terrific. Terrific. Killing it. Yeah. We Fantastic. Missed them. All right. Great job. To start with yesterday, <laughs> with the SpaceX launch uh, in and around the Gulf of Mexico. So, Melissa was talking about this. We're going to it live. It was going great. So, wow. it, the Super start. This was the third test uh, in SpaceX and Elon Musk's goal to help NASA get to the moon and beyond. So the whole point in this is to reuse rockets. So send the rocket up and bring it back like an Uber. I don't know about that. So I don't, I don't know either, Steph. <laughs> so this test, unlike the previous two, didn't lead to like a huge explosion within 30 seconds. Mm. So this went up. That was the view. There were the next step was they wanted to to start the rockets up again in space because that's something humans just haven't done. Mm. They bailed out of that because they weren't confident in the in the science. The other aspect was they tried to get the rocket back into our atmosphere it it incinerated like a pizza pocket and it, and it didn't make it close to going through our atmosphere now experts say in the trial and error of this this was actually a very good day for spacex and elon musk there were there were gains made others who don't trust elon musk say haha failed again you didn't do what you wanted to do uh, Steph, how do you read this yesterday in space? Was this a good I, day for Elon Musk or a bad day? You know what? I feel like it was still it was still a good day, I think, because I feel like there's going to be a lot of failures until you finally find the right solution to this. I mean, if no harm, no foul, it went up, didn't come back, all right, let's go back to the drawing board. So I feel like, you know, it's going to take some time, but that's uh, how all science kind of experiments go. They fail a lot before they actually succeed. Meredith Shaw? I think uh, the Kensington Palace should hire this PR team. <laughs> here, here. Uh, well, look, I, I agree with you. I mean, I think there are, there are uh, progress has been made. It didn't blow up immediately. Score. About 30, right? Score. 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 Yeah. And I think there's a, there will always be a bit of a bad rap on this because it is put together by Elon Musk, and people have feelings for Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. So you 100%. can't really separate your rocket feelings from your Musk feelings. Mm. Uh, 30 seconds left. Final well, word. Important to note, too, that again, no people were on board. Yeah, no, yes, 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 no, yes, yes. I feel like people know, I, I forgot, I should have said that. I yes. assume people know yes. Yeah, no, and no, I'm not going to pretend to be smart enough as a scientist to know what the heck's going on, and it, leaving it up to those people who were clapping so loudly and so happy when it launched. Mm -hmm. So they know something. A lot of excitement. Yes, there was progress until there wasn't. Right. So maybe one day this will happen, <laughs> or it won't. <laughs> and I'm sure it costs a lot of money, and that's the story. Yeah. Good luck to SpaceX. More BT coming up after this. Going to the moon eventually. <laughs>